First we're going to try to print the panther with split in the middle. And we've got our setup here. So we're printing 30 degree bed temperature, 248, which is what we used for our temperature tower. 248 seems kind of high, but that's what the temperature tower says. So we're going to stick with that for now. And that looks good. So most of this stuff is the standard things we normally use. So, All right, so we'll go ahead and print that and see how it turns out. supports for the legs. You can see the legs just aren't printing well. So that was a bad mistake, but that's why we're doing these tests, just to learn things. The rest of the, uh, the head and stuff looks okay. But obviously we're going to have to print this again with supports for the legs. So that was a failed experiment, but that's how you learn. So this one, we, we just put it on its back. And there are some areas here that are unsupported. You can see there's a gap right here. And of course, the tail is unsupported, and these legs are sticking up unsupported in the head and so forth. So, if we go to our process, we're going to be using support, just using the default values again. And we prepare to print. See, there's quite a bit of support material here, including support material from the model uh, up here. So, I'm not sure how well this part is going to print because it's not really supported, but it may be able. It's basically doing some kind of uh, unsupported bridging here. So it's interesting to see how that turns out. We'll try it and uh, and see what happens. That's the purpose of this experiment, is to see, try different ways of printing a model with different types of support and see how the model turns out. So this is the Panther printed with uh, supports. So you see on the back, there's a big giant support for the tail. Here. And uh, these little S, squiggly S lines is what they support the support design that uh, 753D does. A bit of stringing here between the legs, but I'm not worried about that. You know, we can't that. So let's go ahead and get this off, and then we'll see what it looks like up close. off easily. The support material is set up so that it doesn't stick to the bed very much. So I can get a better idea what the support material looks like. So it's just supposed to break off just by uh, pulling on it. So let's see how well this comes off. Looks like I'm bending the tail. That's not good. There. I had to hold the tail. Yeah, it's like I broke the tail. That's a shame. Okay, I should have supported that better. Front leg. Try to get that off. Come off a little better. And then the back was indented, so we had to have support material on the back. So it's a little harder to get off. But it's coming off pretty well. And there's the other wire. You can have some support material underneath this legs. Between the leg and the the foot and the leg and the thigh of the support material. You can adjust how uh, far away the support material is from the from the uh, thing itself. So I've done that on some of my models, some of my prints. That's really helpful. Because um, if, it, if, it, if it sticks too hard, then it's you know hard to get off, and, and it leaves a big mess in your print. So, so the, the 
back of the panther, I almost almost my shell off. Some of it's clinging pretty tight right here. So we we could have made it a little farther away, probably, but uh, but the back is would require a lot of sanding to make it look nice. It's got a lot of uh, uh, let's call it um, residual of the uh, support material. So. And of course, I broke the broke the the uh, tail. I have to glue that. So, but the panther itself looks cool. So now we're going to go back and try printing the uh, split one, but this time we're going to use supports for the legs. Now this this time the supports going to be on the inside of the leg, so it won't show, hopefully it won't show much, and you won't have all this problem on the back with all this uh, these uh, support uh, residual support material. Now again, this can be sanded, so you could sand this off. All right. Let's try the split one again, and we'll see how that turns out. Seems obvious now, but these legs are not supported, so we need to add support material. So we'll turn that on, just use the default values. And now when we go to prepare to print, we'll see all these uh, gray squigglies here. So if you look at the key here, feature type, so light gray is support. So it's doing these squiggly... Uh, towers to support the areas that are not uh, flat on the surface or supported by other parts of the model. So, hopefully, it'll work better, and we'll try that and uh, see how that turns out. looks a lot more solid although thinking about it some more the tail this is just off the one of the other ones I think tail is pretty thin so I think it would have been better off if I printed this one rotated 90 and maybe at least 50% bigger and the tail would be more substantial and less likely to break let's see if we can get this guy off without breaking the tail so it's coming up pretty easy alright so that's one side you can see the holes that are in there. The holes have supports in them, so we're going to have to pop those out. Let's get this one off. Alright, so everything, those, both, those both came off fine. And the bottom looks super clean, so. There's the support material. Pull that off. I'm going to do it a little more carefully this time. You can see the polygon, the low count polygon, actually came out pretty nice looking. So what I'm going to do is, since the other one, I'll tail broke, but at least it's, you know, it's a complete sketch, a complete uh, cat. I'm going to go ahead and um, glue this one up. I'll take the support material off, and then we'll compare both of them and see which one looks better in the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signi signing out and keep looking up.